Hello everybody, you can call me Hunch, and today I want to talk about why I still think Stax is doing fantastic. Why it is one of the best times to accumulate, and how it's all playing out, the narrative is playing out, is going to be on this little episode. So let's dive on in. So quickly, let's look at the chart. If you look at this, I don't think it could be more bullish, to be honest with you. Let's uh, zoom in here, make it a little easier for you guys to see. You can see this line of support that I, I drew here, and it touches over here, it touches here, it touches there, it touches there. It's touching everywhere. It's getting a little too feely, okay? That's a good thing. This it, It's bouncing around this line of support, touching off of it. Uh, in my mind, I think that's a great place to accumulate. Remember, there's risks involved with any trade, and I'm not a financial advisor, but here is where I would be really looking to it. And I think it's a great time, let me say, by the way, because nobody's really paying attention, right? It's not on Coinbase. It's It it doesn't have major notoriety right now in the media, social media, I mean by that. And so if you think about Bitcoin during bear markets, who's accumulating during bear markets, right? Everyone's in this horrible position. They feel like they've lost money. They're selling out, right? Retail typically. And the big players are accumulating, right? So when nobody's paying attention, that's when people are accumulating. So let's go into it and why I think this is going to happen. So if you know crypto, you know Anthony Pompliano. He's kind of a Bitcoin maximalist. But this guy and all the other crypto YouTubers have not been talking about stacks. This is the first major crypto YouTuber, not a developer, talking about stacks. Breaking news, free Bitcoin for every person in Miami. If you watch the video, which I recommend you go do, he talks about stacks. The first major crypto kind of, um, what do you call it, social media star or influencer to mention stacks that I've seen. And I've been talking about stacks for a while. So here's the article that you can go ahead and read by Coindesk. Basically, the Miami mayor is going to institute something where he's going to airdrop Bitcoin to the citizens using Miami coin, which is mined by its own citizens and is built on top of stacks. So I just want to get this point across. I've been doing the deep research that you guys don't want to do. And by that, I mean, I've been following the creator and uh, developers of Bitcoin and uh, Stacks, not the creator of Bitcoin, the, the, the creator of Bit, uh, Stacks and the developers, early developers in some cases of the Bitcoin blockchain, right? And so some of those people are Munib and uh, Adam Beck here, back and then Grubles who, who works on, uh, at Liquid. And at first on Twitter, it started kind of a debate between developers and not a lot of people are interested in it, right? Now you've got these big, crypto guys Udiverse, like i said anthony papiano they're starting to talk about stacks right which means it's kind of bubbling and so when you know you get one more big youtuber talking about this you get one more thing i mean the news is not baked in with new york city coin with miami coin the bitcoin airdrops to citizens i mean this could be crazy and i'm going to prove to you that i've been doing the deep research because Here's my my Twitter for today. You know, basically income with technology. Uh, I tagged Andrew Yang because he coined it during the uh, 2020 presidential um, run. And a uh, pretty interesting guy. You should go follow him. But basically, the first person to like my tweet was the creator of Stacks, which is incredible. So real, really, really intelligent people could see this as a, as a good use case. I think it's a great time to accumulate, not financial advice. I think it's going to blow to the moon completely blast out of his shorts. 